Mr. Perriello, what is your view of green jobs and when can we realistically expect to see new green jobs in the 5th District for low-income, rural, and unemployed citizens in particular? Uh, I am a big believer in green jobs in the new energy economy and we don't have to look into the future anymore. They're already happening. We see it in construction crews that have switched from housing starts over to renovating existing building stock. And we have manufacturing right in southern Virginia to build the window film and other things that are part of that new energy economy. We've seen with LifeBat, we just cut the ribbon on, that's moved its U.S. headquarters to southern Virginia. We see with the investments in broadband increasingly the ability to telecommute and have virtual jobs and in insourcing into some of our lower income parts of central and southern Virginia. We have dairy farmers turning cow manure into power, poultry farmers turning chicken waste into power. These aren't in a science fiction novel. They're happening. This is the excitement that I think Senator Hurt's missing when we talk about energy independence, which people in our district do overwhelmingly support. Because we know that we have to beat China and India and Europe to these ideas. And our farmers can do it. Our manufacturers can do it. I talked to an investor just today, and he said the only thing keeping him from investing here is the fact that the Senate didn't pass an energy job. So he's looking at China and other places who are the winners of this obstruction from the Republicans. Instead of having the courage to go out and say America can do this better, America can do this first. We see it in an area like Charlottesville that's doing relatively well, but still has 25% of residents living below the poverty line. When we think about what we could do, if we take things like Homestar and Rural Star to scale, to scale, where you help to forward fund the renovations in a home using American construction crews, using American manufactured products to reduce the electric bills that Senator Hurt helped jack up. This is a place where we make our country safer, we make ourselves stronger, and we're putting people to work building and making and growing things right here in America. The jobs of tomorrow are already happening today. The question is whether they're going to happen here or overseas, and I have fought my tail off to make sure that they happen in central and southern Virginia.